Today we are going to be sculpting this little snowman. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, go ahead and open up your blender. And on the front page, it will ask you if you want to do general 2D animation sculpting. And, you know, it would be tempting to hit sculpting. And, you know, if we do, we are going to get this really nice sculpting uh, workflow or work kind of workspace here. But we're not going to do that today because remember when we set up our uh, blender for our 3D printer, you know, and set it in millimeters and put our little and put our 3D printing volume it's not gonna have that if you just click on sculpting. So you could, uh, you know, redo that in the sculpting uh, workflow. It doesn't have that in the sculpting uh, preset here. So if we go to our little units here, notice we're back in metric. Everything's just kind of back to normal blender for like animation and uh, CG. So make sure when you go and start a new project, we just do general and that will open up you know, our preset 3D printing layout uh, that we set up in the first one. So just make sure, double check that you're still in millimeters. So it should be in millimeters, 0 0.001. Um, so yeah, just a quick heads up. So to build our snowman, we do not need Suzanne. So we'll just delete that. And let's just bring in a cube. So shift A and bring in a cube. And it's really, really tiny right there. It's two millimeters. So let's make it 25 millimeters, just a pretty small cube there. So that's pretty good. We can go ahead and click to confirm that. And we'll hit period on our numpad to zoom in. So what we're gonna do is turn this cube into a ball. And to do that, just do control five. And all that did, it's just a shortcut to add a subsurf or a you know subdivision surface modifier and it put the viewport at five. So if we turn on our wireframe, it's just giving us some more geometry for our cube here. That way, you know, we can sculpt on it. So let's go ahead and rename this cube. We're gonna call it Snowman, because this is gonna be the base of our snowman. And we're just gonna duplicate it. So maybe go to front view. So we're just gonna use these snowballs here to build a snowman. So just do Shift D and then go up and then lock to the Z and just put it up here somewhere and then tap S on your keyboard to scale it down just a little bit. And we can kind of move that up wherever you'd like. And we'll zoom out and then shift D, lock it to the Z and then hit S to scale it for the little snowman head. So you, you may have to just kind of, you know, maneuver these around and just kind of get the shape of your snowman, however you want to do it. I'm going to bring these down a little bit. So take your time and get your shape that you like. And that looks pretty good to me. And now we're just gonna do some, some destructive modeling here. Usually I'm super against applying modifiers, but today for sculpting, we're gonna do it. Uh, so just shift click on these two and we're gonna Boolean it to the bottom one here. And instead of control plus, we're gonna do control shift plus and that's just gonna go ahead and apply the modifiers and lock it all together. So now this is all one mesh. You can see we only have one layer here. And if we go into edit mode, you know, everything is connected. So go ahead and do that. Just mesh it all together. And we're doing this for the sake of sculpting. So let's get to sculpting. Right now you can see we're in object mode and usually we just hit tab, you know, to go into edit mode, but there's other modes over here. If you drop it down, we got sculpt mode. So just click on sculpt mode and notice our tools have changed. Now we've got all these really cool tools and you can even grab, you kind of hover your mouse over uh, the tools here until this little arrow shows up and you can drag that out if you want to kind of see the names of these tools or these like sculpting brushes. And notice right away we have some symmetry. So if I'm hovering over, you can kind of see this little blue dot uh, on the left side over here, or if I swap to this side, there's another dot. So if I, you know, if I do something, it's going to mirror it on both sides. And I'm just going to turn off the wireframes real quick, just so you can kind of see here. And if we can just draw, you know, something, hey, so just go ahead and just, you know, make some marks on your snowman real quick, just to have some fun, uh, you know, move around if you want. Uh, so this is basic sculpting, but we're going to teach you some kind of like the 3D printing workflow for 
for sculpting. Uh, so just go ahead and undo any of the little marks you've made on your snowman here. And we're actually gonna add some more detail. So notice if I zoom in on the face, we can make some sculpting, but it's still kind of like blocky. You know, it looks kind of like pixelated. So let's just undo that. And I'm gonna show you how to add even more geometry so that we get a really nice uh, smooth sculpting as if it's like digital clay. So let's go back into object mode real quick and let's add another modifier. And we're gonna use a new one. We haven't used this one yet. It's the multi-resolution. And this is very helpful when it comes to sculpting. So click on multi-resolution and nothing happens right off the bat. You know, right when you drop it on, it just kind of seems like it does nothing. Uh, but let's turn on the wireframe and I'll show you what it's doing. So this is our subsurf, you know, that we added in the beginning. And now we're gonna make even more geometry. So just hit subdivide. And there we go, it's subdivided there. You can see it's, once I hit subdivide, it did a, a one right here. And maybe we'll do it again. And keep an eye down here. We want to get a nice high count of faces here. And right now we're about 250,000. Let's try one more. It will start to bog your computer down and get a little heavy, so you know, be weary. Uh, so let's do subdivide and see how many faces. So we're about at a million. That's probably still pretty high. Um, if you have a really strong computer, you could leave it at uh, three, but I'm gonna crank it down. So just take your render and preview back down to two, and then just hit delete higher. And then now it's not gonna let you go back to three, you know? So if you ever make too many, you know, just crank it back a little bit on these two and then hit delete higher and that will take that away. So I'm gonna leave mine at 250, around, you know, 250,000 faces. Uh, we don't wanna get too crazy and I don't want to, uh, you know, crash else computers all day. So, you know, maybe keep it a little light. So let's go ahead and just leave that. So let's go ahead and switch back into sculpt mode and turn our wireframes off. And now let's do some drawing. Hey, so looky there, that looks much, that looks much smoother and silkier. So that's all I wanted to show you for that. And I forgot again, dang it. So if you uh, already saved your project, kudos, well done. Um, I forgot, so I'm gonna do save as, and I'm just gonna put in my blender folder here, and we'll just call this snowman and save. So now that we've got our snowman snowballs uh, ready and we got our multi-resolution modifier, we are ready to do some sculpting. So let's go ahead and jump into the next video where we're gonna add some details to the snowman and have some fun sculpting.